Listen to McDaniel call this Waddle Tud against the New York Jets this past weekend. I'm really visualizing the one-play drive here. I'm having a tough time not visualizing a one-play drive here. Head to more people, not on him. Mm -hmm. We get kick coverage. Waddle's going to have a one-play drive here. Yeah. <laughs> here it comes. <laughs> Team. Dolphins begin at their own 40. Look off the safety. Mm -hmm. Going deep. Get coverage. Right there. What a perfect pass and play. And a touchdown to Jalen Waddle. Yeah, I'm a dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 60 yards and a touchdown. Take a look at this route. Inside. Mm. Oh, and he gets him. Is that sauce? No, I think that's a big arm throw right there. Oh, God, that's sauce. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody's doing sign language. That's awesome. Love it. Hard Knocks in season every Tuesday night. Obviously presented by NFL Films. Listen to that dude. Uh -huh. oh. And then there's some team meeting speeches that have come out, especially yes. after the loss to the Titans since last night, or, or since last Hard Knocks last night. It's like so many F-bombs, so we, mm -hmm. we don't want to go through and edit it. We'll probably run in the third hour. But it's like they believe in that guy, mm -hmm. as they should. Feels like they have it to go on an eight. Hey! Hey. Is that the team that's going to be representing the AFC in the Super Bowl? They got all the pieces. I believe one of two teams uh, right now, top five in offense and in defense. Obviously, been a different defense since Jalen Ramsey got there. But when your leader, your coach, and I, and I saw that the um, the team meeting film that you're talking about, and I've been on some teams where you know star players they mess up, they mess up in practice, they mess up in the game, they're not getting called out. Those plays aren't getting brought up on the big plays. You may talk about a rookie, may talk about a young guy. So I love when coaches, and that was one thing about Tom. You know, he always wanted to be coached just like everybody else. I love how he did it. You know, kind of calling out some guy. Hey, you know this this is one of our big time players, our corner. He wants to make a play. Hey, make a better decision. As a coach, I got to call better plays. Let me show you this play, I, this situation. I put two in. So taking the accountability putting the accountability out there for everyone else, for the mistakes. And they came out, that was after the Titans blowout. I mean, Titans lost on Monday Night Football, and they come out and respond like that. But manifest, I'm sure we've all done it on the sideline. I know I've manifested some some very, very good things. Doesn't happen all the time, but I'm, I'm telling you, that shit works. Yeah. That shit works. And obviously, I'm sure he's done it a ton of times, and it didn't work. Really but as a player, as a person, you know, just manifesting that good stuff. Like, it works the other way, too. If you, you manifest and speak bad stuff, um, they'll come up as well. But I love to see that from Mike McDaniels and this Dolphins team. I forget who said it. Some professional athlete said, the last thing you think is the first thing you do. So, like, Ooh. controlling your thoughts is a big deal. So you know? real. Controlling your thoughts is a massive ordeal. And I think there's been studies, and who knows what's real and what isn't these mm -hmm. days, where, you know, if you do put out positive vibes, there's a chance that the universe actually scientifically brings positive vibes back to you. So, Secret. like, you kind of get what you put into this whole world. McDaniel has been super positive mm -hmm. since that entire thing. And you're right. The messaging on how he pays – uh, past blame and pointed out mistakes yeah. was all coaching is, right? Yeah. I think how you message something is a massive piece of whether or not they'll buy in. In a league this year where points have been at a premium, just having the statement, one play drive, that means they, that's a goal. Yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. this is a play. This is a one play drive. That is in their lexicon. And then they got the owner. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> that guy was getting sued just a couple years ago yeah, for allegedly eight, eight, paying eight. people to lose. Now he's got one play drives popping off right oh, in God, front of his face it. with one of the most hilarious and cool coaches in the history. McDaniel's working as a coach. His Dolphins team working. Bringing in OG Vic Fangio on the defensive side is working. Now it's all around the health, I think. And we saw to his jujitsu training. Mm -hmm. He did a Working. right shoulder roll. That's right. Right, whenever he was about to go. Because before this jujitsu training, he actually face plants right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, Just yeah. full bang. Yeah. Right in. That's, yeah. What they, that's how people viewed that entire thing. Yep, that's right. Instead, tucks the right shoulder, roll, comes up on vicious. his left foot, I think. And he's off. He actually, I think, yeah, immediately yeah, after. Yeah, he, he did. Do it. Yeah. yeah. What's it's up? Set. <laughs> yeah. I think he did. Just in case, like, a Gracie came by. Right. There you go, yeah. You want? Don't. And he was going to snag that thing. Mm -hmm. And then leg around. Boom. Break up. Arm bar. Oh, yeah. He was ready to do that. 100%. If they stay healthy, Tua stays healthy. Feels like they have what it takes. Now, they're not the team that you would classify as a team that could potentially out-tough the Niners, right? Because whenever you think about Super Bowl and you think about everything, and the Ravens even. Ravens, yeah, sure. super. They got a 310-pounder in Patrick Ricard who's playing yeah. tackle, tight end, fullback, running back, wide receiver for them. What? So it's like a tough. Can they handle the big – can they handle big whenever they have to do that? If they have to do it on the road as well, do you think, AQ? Absolutely. I love this group. And the thing that they're doing different than most 
other years, at least with this Dolphins team, is they've had a ton of injuries up front, too, and they're handling yeah. that yeah. well. I mean, like, even offensive line-wise, they lose their center. Eichenberg stepped up this week. He's playing well. Oh, I thought Jonathan Harrison was playing. Well, he, they brought him in as a backup, but he's, oh. he's down there. He's, uh-huh. I mean, he, he's, ready, he's ready to go if they oh, need yeah. him. Hey, do you remember how athletic that dude was? Super athletic. I wanted him on the punt too. Yeah, you should have. He could have been your personal protector. Well, they wouldn't let it happen. They, they kept saying, we can't have center as a bottom. Like, why? Come on. The guy runs 4-5. Yeah. He's 275 Sounds like pounds. positionalism. It, it was positionalism, especially against me, too. He yeah. could have been protecting me. But he's down there. They have figured it out. They and have. I think McDaniel knows that that's potentially a weakness. And on the other side, right? Here's where, here's where they're way different. They're very good on the defensive line. Their defense is mm-hmm. playing. Vic Fangio has done a f- fantastic job. And when I played with Cliff, he used to come up to us in practice. He'd have these little one one liners, right? Like we we call Cliff him, who Cliff Kingsbury. We would we would have uh, he called them fastball. So we'd have like five plays in a week where it was just like, hey, we're gonna rush up to the ball. Here's a code word. This play is gonna work. And he'd come up to us on Wednesday. He's like, hey, if we get quarters coverage and we call this mm-hmm. play, it's a touchdown. Like the confidence these guru play callers yeah. have they know if they get exactly the look they want with this play call it's worth how about his yeah <laughs> especially at this point in the season because you kind of are who you are at this point so a lot of offensive coordinators they got tendencies as far as a mm-hmm. pnt and that first player to drive maybe they want to take a shot defensively it was only a couple calls that we were going to call it was either going to be a split safety of quarters coverage or a cover three, something simple on a first and 10, P and 10. So, you know, so soon as that was probably when that, la- that little evil laugh came out because he know, oh, here it goes. This the look. Is. You have to execute it, though. Two, I had to have the oh, time yeah. Yeah. to look off the safety yep. and time. look back the other way. You know, you talk about all the injuries up front, and you can play call around it, but they still have to block in pass no well for Tua to have for all the timing to work. They figure it out. Tua drops dimes and waddles dancing without Tyreek Hill on the field. Well, and I think that's a big thing. You know, like it kind of dispels. The notion, because that's what everyone was saying, was like, "Hey, two is not." I kind of said it. Yeah, two is not worth the shit without Tyreek Hill. Like he can't. Well, you know, I didn't say that. Well, no, but I'm saying like a lot. <laughs> I mean, you took it. I didn't. No, yeah, well, but it was the conversation. A, a lot of change. people were saying that. Is like, hey, the, two. The only reason two is having any success this year is because he has Tyreek Hill. He might go for over two thousand yards. And granted, the Jets aren't. You know, I mean, who we thought good they defense, were going to be. Yeah, good defense though, and they just beat the piss out of him, and it shows. Like, hey. Even with and Tyreek's going to be back now, so like they can do it without Tyreek if they need to. AFC East Bills Dolphins. Uh, ooh, I think the AFC whoever comes out, it's the Bills or Dolphins are going to the Super Bowl. Oh, you think that's one it? of the two? Yep. Bills are a wagon because they might play each other in the first round. People are talking about Joe Brady. You know, since Joe Brady has gotten yeah. there, yeah. how the team has looked. You know, with McDaniel since the, he's got down there, how the team has looked. Who's calling the plays? The vibe in which it's all happening? Are the players bought in or not? I mean, it's a whole new world. What were you about to say? Scheme matters. I say it all the time. Mm -hmm. People don't understand how much it matters. Because, listen, I'll be very honest. The Dolphins' offensive line, they are not great across the board. But they put them in positions to succeed at all times. You say the same thing about San Fran, too. I do. do, And the Dolphins have one. They got one filthy guy. left tackle. Bingo. Like Toronto. We are gonna find and that's out. who you need. You need a filthy left tackle. These Everybody last, else can just be, eh, just do your job. These last three weeks, Fins have the Cowboys, Ravens, and Bills. We're going to find out a lot about the Dolphins. Oh, yeah. Here, Here we go. go. Save Tyreek up for yeah. that, by the way. I like yeah. the fact that McDaniel, Smart, obviously yeah. incredibly confident, he's like, we saw you running warm-ups. Like, we're not going to. No we're going to beat the shit out of these. Yeah, guys. Jets defense really good. We got one play drives. Yeah, they're not you know gonna what I mean? score. We got a bunch of these one play drives just ready to go. And then let's just take the week off. Let's just get the ankle back. Mm. We'll still get to 2,000, but we're going to need you down the stretch. I love the Moxie coming out of Miami. 